Welcome back everyone to Boomy World. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We got Savannah Peterson out on the ground in the show floor getting all the action from the partners and the players here at Boomy World who are making AI integration happen. Savannah, over to you. Thanks, John. It's so great to be here in beautiful Denver, Colorado. As you know, we're here at Boomi World 2024. My name's Savannah Peterson. Very excited to be joined by one of Boomi's sales leaders tonight, Drew Crawford. Drew, thank you so much for being on the show with me. Thank you. All right, so since you are a sales leader at Boomi and you're the first person I've talked to at the show, give me the Boomi pitch. Yeah, we, we are a company that's an integration automation um, play that does everything that you need to do in moving data throughout an organization. So from an API to direct connects to EDI, mastering data, any anytime you're moving data throughout an organization, Boomi has a play in that, that space. Uh, that's a casual statement to make. You've got over 20,000 customers. We do. What are some of the trends that you're seeing across that community? Yeah, obviously AI is a big piece that we're seeing. Kind it of is? It. I haven't heard that word at all I recently. know it's been uh, <laughs> the last eight months, nine months, a year has been really um, kind of focused on that from our customer's perspective. So it's really interesting to kind of work with them through the challenges of, of a new technology in many ways for them and, and how do they avoid risk and, and kind of really capitalize on the opportunity that they have in front of them. What do you, what's your advice for them to do that? It's gotta be a big job. It is, I think it's a, it's a very, yeah. um, tough and, and, and daunting position for them to be in, but I think it, it really comes down to partnerships, right? Looking at companies that, you know, Absolutely. want to work with you and, and really kind of partner on finding solutions that solve the business challenges that they're facing. I think that's such a good point, and I'm curious if you agree with this. One of the things that I've been noting with a lot of the executive conversations we've been having, like the one we're having now, there's a culture around collaboration that I haven't quite seen at the same order of magnitude that I'm seeing in the AI space right now. Would you agree? I do. I think it, it just, the span of what the the breadth of what it can do right. just has the entire organization, the entire enterprise kind of in play, um, and so the collaboration has to be there, both internally and externally with partners like Boomi um, and others. And, and we're really starting to see that momentum pick up, so it's great. Yeah, it is great. I'm happy to hear that. How does AI change your job as someone in sales? Yeah, I think it, it's it, it's it's the constant evolution of sales, right? You have to continue to be in front of where our customers are, so we can lead them. Um, mm -hmm. I think being a good partner, being a good sales professional is being able to really kind of help them guide them along the way of, of the journey that they're on. Um, many of them don't know. Many of them are, you know, trying to do their day job and learn AI at the same time where, you know, we can bring a unique right. perspective to it. Yeah. And you've already got that trust and established relationship, I bet, with a lot of these players. What are some of the partnerships that have you most excited? You mentioned that earlier. Yeah, I think there's there's just so many, right? There's, you know, from the partners that are outside the door that we're talking about right now, or talking the room we're talking in, mm -hmm. to just the customers that we're working with, right? I think those are the things that I'm super excited about, like what we're doing with companies like WWT, Spin Master and others, United Healthcare, just yeah. what we're able to do and kind of help augment their entire enterprise and organization to take them into the new generation of AI and, and automation. Yeah, it's such an exciting time. It is. Can you, you mentioned a few customers and partners there. Can you give us a couple of customer success stories? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, D WWT that we talked about earlier, um, mm -hmm. it's just what they're able to do with a platform is so unique, right? The skill set that they bring, they push us and it push, push us and we push them. Um, and, Can and you give to, us some examples of how that's played out? Yeah, so we're working on their managed service team mm -hmm. um, and really trying to help them build that out, right? From scratch to kind of where they are now being cash flow positive um, and, and the ability for them to do what they need to do with their customers is really pivotal for them and without Boomi, I don't think they'd be able to get there. Wow, I mean, that's a pretty bold statement and that's an exciting place yeah. to be in. This whole week must be like a big reunion for you. It is, it's been a couple of years. Is it just all your friends out there right now? A lot of them, Yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, from customers to partners to people that work at Boomi, it's, it's great to get back and get everybody together because I think this is really where the collaboration Absolutely. that you were talking about earlier comes mm -hmm. into play, right? We can, we can all sit down and have conversations and bring partners involved with customers and just have a really honest conversation of where they're going and, and yeah. what the partners and what we can bring to them is. Yeah, nothing replaces that FaceTime. Agreed. I mean, we were joking about going to business dinners and going yeah. to sporting events, but it really is a part of that community. I think it's I think it's it's the trust that you build within within partnerships that you were talking about. So um, I think we're all humans and I think, you know, mm -hmm. that's a big piece of of what we do is just being humans and, and really looking to help and kind of grow their their footprint with Boomi, but also what they're trying to do internally within their organization. Absolutely, I love that you just brought up the human side. We're talking with our systems later. Yeah. Their whole thing is about tech has to elevate the human experience. Agree. And it's a theme across a lot of the partners and folks that we have out there. We're gonna hopefully talk to a bunch of them throughout the course of the show, but I'm glad to hear that's a big part of it for you. What do you think is so special about the Boomi community? I think it's just what we bring, right? I think it's just the, 
the passion that we bring for the integration space, that middleware space, mm -hmm. and really getting into that next level of automation and AI and, and really kind of taking our vision and our passion to the next level, which brings our customers and partners along with us. It's great. Yeah, it's that sense of inclusion. You can definitely feel it out Absolutely. in the hallways and whatnot. There are people from all over the world. I was chatting with someone who flew 24 hours from India, just walking yeah. back to my hotel room earlier. You're from Omaha. I am. I am very curious what the tech scene's like in Omaha and is the AI hype scene and curve as much as it is elsewhere? It is. It's uh, uniquely Omaha has a small but mighty kind of tech space. Um, and we're seeing it a lot with customers that we're working with, even from manufacturing to construction companies that are really looking at how do they leverage AI for the next phase of their organization. Um, so all the way from Omaha, Nebraska to where you're from, San Francisco mm -hmm. to New York to Australia, everybody's talking about it. And it's 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 a great story and a great conversation to have because, you know, in two years, it's going to be different than it is now. And, and just having a, a path and a thought process of how you're going to get there is really important. Yeah, it really is. Small but mighty. I appreciate that. I come from a small town myself yeah. originally. So I'm, I'm here for that. I believe in the small town yeah. and, the, and the tightness that comes with that sense of community. Taking off your boomy hat for a last question here. What personally has you most excited about the AI revolution? Just what it can bring. Just the power and, and just the amount of data that, that people can harness and really kind of do crazy things with, right? Mm -hmm. Just the, the next piece of what our world's going to look like is, is going to be driven by AI. And, and being a part of that and being a part of that conversation, is, it's, it's what keeps, it gets me up in the morning and, and keeps me going late at night. Um, trying to stay in front of it, trying to understand it and really just kind of know that I have, a, I have a seat at that table and being able to talk through it, it's, it's awesome. It is awesome, I can feel your passion yeah. standing here. Thank you so much for sharing that, Drew. Last question for you actually, any big goals for the week? Just getting people together, right? We talked about collaboration earlier and I, I think for me, my biggest focus is just connecting the dots, mm -hmm. right? Getting people that haven't been together, getting them together, having you know food and drinks and just great conversations. And you know, that's at the end of the day, that's what we all need and want. And, you know, I think once those start taking place, it's going to be it's going to be a magical time. I can already feel the magic energy is starting. Drew, thank you so much for being my first interview of the show. I hope that you have that fantastic week. I'm sure that you will. I can't wait to meet some of your customers. Yeah. Thanks for the insight, for the passion. And thank all of you for tuning in to our three days of coverage here at Boomi World 2024. My name is Savannah Peterson, live here from Denver, Colorado. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.